Fine, so first things first, before I get into the specs of this, we're just gonna ride this around for a little bit and kind of see what it's capable of. And of course, the first question that everybody has is how fast does this thing go? Well, we're about to find out together. Arguments spinning in circles We're fighting for days Stuck in a face I think we're losing the reason One word is all it takes Pain bursting out in cold flames Breathing we are catching fire Thought that we were wiser Go and let the what is going on everybody and welcome back to the AGHB channel. Today we are riding this new e-bike called the Coswheel T20. Oh, there's some, some shit going down in my neighborhood. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up into mode five. So it says it goes 45 kilometers an hour as the top speed, which is pretty spot on. Oh my goodness. This thing picks up pretty quick. Not too shabby, huh? Not too shabby. The thing I do like about it is, look how sleek it is. It has this battery built into the body right here so it's not like your typical e-bike where it has this big old battery that just kind of slapped on here they actually made it super sleek by putting it into the frame so i appreciate that okay so so far comfort wise the thing has more of like a mountain bike style riding position so at the moment i'm pretty leaned over right now i've got a lot of weight um on my arms here but um if that's kind of your style so if you've always liked mountain bikes or that kind of style position then this bike is perfect for you so we're currently heading over to some trails uh, i'm not gonna do anything too gnarly just because i'm gonna be honest with you this bike is not really meant for that it's meant for what most flat tire e-bikes are meant for fire roads if you have to but it's not a mountain bike and it's not an off-road bike by any means these are kind of the light trails i'm talking about it's for the most part pretty flat here obviously there's a little bit of bumps um, here and there and with the front and rear suspension it kind of soaks it up pretty well like i said if you're trying to go down like a mountain bike trail i probably wouldn't do that look at the little christmas trees so cute all right we got a little tiny hill here we're in mode two. Oh my gosh slid out a little bit but easy peasy made it up just fine <laughs> Hi, baby. Yeah. Hi. Mama. Another thing with this bike, in obviously it being in this kind of mountain bike style position, is I'm a short person. I'm a short rider, and uh, when I'm sitting on the seat, I can't actually touch the ground. So I'm like on my very, very tippy toes. All right, so we're at our first hill here. There was a little bit of an incline, but we're just gonna go up the rest of the way. It's nothing too gnarly, but this is more so the typical hill. If you do take this bike off some like walking trails, this is probably the like the most steep it's going to get on a walking trail. So I'm gonna bump this baby up to pedal assist five, which gives us the most power. We're gonna try to get up this hill. Oh my gosh, I need to, I can't barely touch the ground. Ah. Alright, let's go. Okay, there we go. We're good. Easy, easy peasy. No struggle at all. Oh. Okay. Gets a little bit steeper now. So I'm actually pedaling still. I'm not even in the full electric mode. There's a little twist throttle here that I could be using, but I wanted to see if I could pedal up this 
which I can. We're gonna go down here, make a little U-turn, and then try to tackle the hill coming back up, because it's pretty steep coming up. Please don't be any snakes out here. Oh geez. <laughs> Okay, easy. This thing makes it up perfectly fine. I'm actually kind of impressed. I really didn't think it was gonna go up that easy. I thought it was gonna struggle a little bit more, but it's quite impressive. Now that we have this beautiful sunset, let's go over the bike and the specs. We're gonna start from the front and move our way back. So first things, we have this little control here. You have this info button here, which tells you on the screen, it just basically changes from what your current mileage is to your total mileage. You have this plus and minus, which is your pedal assist. Like I said, there's five gears. So I put it up on five to go up that hill. This is up and down. So we can go all the way down to the first one. On the right here, this is your headlight. So once you turn on the headlight, it actually dims the screen for you. So when you're riding at night, it's not super bright. Uh, the cool thing is it has a blinker or an indicator switch. So those of you who have motorcycles will probably be used to this, but if you don't, this is what makes it great for commuting because most bikes actually don't come with this. But you have your left signal, your right signal, and then you put it back to neutral. And then it also has a horn. Sounds kind of weird, but you have a horn <laughs> um, and then we're gonna go over the screen so on the screen it tells you your current battery level your current mile or your kilometers per hour or you know translating it to miles per hour then you have your pedal assist mode which like I said goes up to five and then your total mileage so we have 17 kilometers total since I started riding this bike and then on the right side we have a Shimano seven gear changer here so you just press this or you can press this to go down obviously your brakes there's also a twist throttle here and then obviously your power button here. So the twist throttle is nice so that you could still hold onto the grip, twist it a little bit without moving the whole thing, or you could do pedal assist. Then we're gonna move down. This bike has an LED headlight, so it's actually really bright, great for nighttime commuting if you're going to and from work or school. We have 20 inch all-terrain tires that'll help you if there's a little bit of sand on the road or if you decide to like I said take it on light off-road trails such as this then we have this little weird area I kind of wish they had sealed it off and put a cover with a lock or something so you can put your stuff into it because I probably wouldn't put my phone in here it would slide right out or my keys or anything like that but if they would have made this a compartment it would have been so much better it has a rear suspension here your front suspension here like I said it has a tail light here there's a latch on the seat here which allows you to adjust it accordingly so you can go up and, oh my gosh almost just lost the bike down the hill but the problem is this is as low as it goes and as you can see when I sit on the bike I can't even really be on the seat because I can't really touch the ground so unfortunately it is way too tall for me so if you're a short rider I would say that's a con the uh, last thing that I have is so the battery here this is how you charge it there's a little flip thing here for the charger it comes with two keys that you can put in here this is to lock and unlock the battery so what you do is you would unlock this and you would pull this handle and this whole tube here is the lithium ion battery the one gripe that i have about this design here is to take this battery out you actually have to take the whole seat out because there's a hole in the battery the seat post goes in and then it holds that battery in place so that's the only other thing that i don't like but besides that i'm not gonna lie this bike is 
pretty legit. So I didn't mention it before, but this bike is a 500 watt motor, peak 750, but we're gonna go by 500. This bike is also made of aluminum, so it's not that heavy. I believe it weighs about 75 pounds. And then the last thing is it does have three riding modes. When I say modes, I mean that you could turn the pedal assist all the way down to zero and you have manual mode where you just pedal it like a normal bike and then if you turn on the pedal assist by using the plus and minus here you can go into gear one and up because zero means you're manually pedaling with no assist so the second mode is pedal assist and the third mode is full electric. So you're not pedaling at all and you're only using this twist throttle to twist right here and have the bike move for you. So that's kind of cool, depending on what kind of riding you're doing, where you're going and uh, how active you wanna be. You could do any one of those three, which offers a lot of versatility for for this bike. The last thing is we'll go over the cost and the look of this bike. So this bike is starting at $1,700, which isn't the worst, but it's also not the best. I've seen other bikes for cheaper, but like I said before, the cool, the cool thing that I think this bike has over others is the fact that it has a headlight, a tail light, a horn, and your left and right indicators, which makes this thing perfectly road ready. So anybody who's commuting, this is probably gonna be the better bike for you. All right, we're hitting a downhill. Let's see if we can get this thing up even faster. So a little over 30 miles an hour if you can hit a downhill. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna pick one up for yourself, I'll include a link in the description. If you have any other questions, I'm also gonna put the website down in there too so you can go check out the specs yourself. Other than that, I appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time. Peace. I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap it through. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapons, but my outfit might take the soul. See my presence and press.